Welcome to Sitting Down with Kelby King. Imagine being cold, homeless, starving, broken, and stumbling your way to a life full of love and tremendous opportunity. My guest today is that boy, but he's not my typical guest. His name is Snowball, and he just happens to be cute, furry, and a nationally recognized dog model and actor. Please welcome Snowball and his parents, Jamie Kitten and Logan Broadbent. Thank you so much. Oh, this <laughs> is going to be a fun episode. Um, I've never had a dog as the star of the show before. Yeah, this is his first <laughs> interview, actually. It is? It is. It is. Yeah, first time. He's kind of a nervous yeah. talker, so we'll see He's how he come does. to interviews with us, but mm -hmm. this is his first. Well, I'm just working my way on up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know, I, we could go on and on about you two individually, because in your own right, you guys are super successful. Oh, thank you. I mean, you. Logan, you have an amazing, you know, business... <laughs> Uh, job. Yeah, the other <laughs> side, a little side job. There's, there's so much I could then... say. I'm stumbling on my words. Um, you're an athlete. Yeah. Uh, you're an actress and a model, and I can't even, I could go on and on about you. But today, <laughs> we're going to focus on the cute one in the family. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> Snowball. Okay, so what's really, really neat about Snowball's story is kind of how it all started. So tell me, Jamie, I know you stumbled upon him. I did. Working one day, tell, tell us about that. Yeah, so I was uh, covering a story. I used to be a reporter at the News Journal, and I was covering a, uh, a, sh a shooting um, on Home Avenue in Mansfield, and I was interviewing a guy in his backyard, and out of the corner of my eye, I kept seeing this little white dog, and I kind of asked him, you know, is this your dog? And it was almost kind of like, what's wrong with you? Because it was very clear that Snowball wasn't being taken care of. Um, he was very dirty, um, obviously, you know, very hungry. Mm -hmm. And um, he said to me, no, this isn't my dog. And I asked, you know, whose dog is it? And he said he didn't know that um, the dog had been wandering the neighborhood for at least over a week. So I went and I actually started to take a video of Snowball because I thought, you know, I'll post him online and we'll try to find his owner. And when I went down to pet him, um, I immediately started crying because mm -hmm. I, you know, I could feel every little rib on his body. Mm -hmm. And he was just the sweetest dog. He came up to me wagging his tail and he was slinking on his little belly towards uh. me. And um, mm -hmm. I just fell in love immediately. You know, I'm, I'm glad you said that. There's nothing that breaks my heart, and I know you're like me, that, than to see a starving or hurt child or an animal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I can just about s feel what you um, we're seeing. Actually, we have a picture I want to share. Um, the moment yeah. a reporter captured this picture, let's mm -hmm. take a look at this. Um, and it kind of shows that emotion of how you were just emotionally taken back by, by seeing him for the first time. Yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of neat in a way to have mm -hmm. that picture. Uh, Dave Polson captured that for us. And um, it's, what's cool is to be able to look back and to see where he was and now where he's you know, come to. Yes, and we're going to get to that transition. I mean, I think they're trying to get up the picture here. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll get that a second. But um, we're also going to, you really, it, it's really neat because I, I followed your story when you first found him. And there's another picture we'll show here in a second that you literally felt so attached to him that you slept on a bathroom floor. I did. Right now. Not a lot of people would do that. <laughs> well, we didn't know if he was trained at first. And yeah. I actually, I had taken him to my mom's house because um, at my house, I, you know, I wasn't home a lot. Mm -hmm. And so when I first took him back, uh, I took him over to my mom's and then I stayed the night at my mom's house, but I wanted someone there with him during the day when I couldn't, you know, be with him when yes. I was going to work. Um, but the first night, you know, I, my mom said, you know, Jamie, he should probably sleep in the bathroom. We don't know if he's strained. So I said, okay. So I took a <laughs> pillow and I went to the bathroom and I just slept on the floor with him. And it was like wow. love, you know, at, at yes. second sight, I guess. And he just slept right with yes. me on that pillow. And we were let's show it head to right head. now. Let's show. Look at the <laughs> yeah. That is precious. Yeah. That so is, that was the first night. Yes. And he from, still sleeps that way, doesn't he? He really, he, yeah, honestly, he really does. Yeah. And then we have that other picture that shows um, when you first yeah. met him. And look how he, he does. That would break my heart. And you can see the emotion in your face. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you so, know, so kudos oh, for A, taking him you. in and 
I mean, it's just, it's really an, ama an, an amazing emotional story. Where did the name Snowball come from? I have to ask. Yeah, so <laughs> my favorite Christmas movie is a movie called All I Want for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And actually, the pet in there is was a mouse, and um, but the pet's name was Snowball. And that was my favorite Christmas movie, and I, 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 I just, I love Christmas, so I—that's kind of where it came from. It's kind of a goofy story, but yeah, it's my first, my first pet, and so yeah. that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, name. that's great. Oh boy, okay, <laughs> things are a little emotional after that story. Um, we will be back after this with Jamie, Logan, and Snowball. More after this. MansfieldAreaHelpWanted.com presents the world's worst boss, the one who posts jobs on huge national job sites looking for anyone with a pulse. We'll just call him Dave. Okay, everybody, I've called this brainstorm because senior management says we need big ideas. So, what have you got? Well, Dave, how about we... No. Okay, we can try the... Stupid. What if we started charging employees to use the bathroom? I love that idea. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Dad. Don't work for a Dave. Find a boss you can respect, one who's looking for great and local talent at MansfieldAreaHelpWanted.com. Local jobs that work. Searching for the perfect home can seem endless unless you watch the Herring Realty Home Show, a video tour of Herring Realty's residential and commercial properties. See a hand-picked selection of Herring Realty's inventory without leaving the comfort of your own home. Hi, I'm Peter Herring. Whether you're looking for your next home or enjoy viewing quality homes, make the Herring Realty Home Show the next place you look. Herring Realty, where caring is key. Next time on I Love My Job. Hey, join me this week on I Love My Job when we present to you, of course, the mayor of the city of Ontario. Uh, Mark is also with us and we're talking about economic development. Uh, it's a show that you, you really want to watch because these are gentlemen that are making things happen right here in Ontario. I Love Emerson My Job Conference. with Doug Faker, Thursday and Sunday, right here on WMFD. We ask that you be praying with us for this year's Passion Play. Tickets are now available for the 2018 North Central Ohio Passion Play being presented Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday beginning March the 27th. Be thinking about that neighbor, family member, or business associate whose life would be greatly enhanced by the true story of Easter. Your tickets are now available at the Welcome Center or by calling the Bucyrus Church of the Nazarene. Welcome back. This is a great episode because we have a celebrity animal here with us today, Mr. <laughs> Snowball. And I want to talk about his most recent ac <laughs> accomplishment, yeah. uh, which we have here. Yes. Are we kidding? I have a lot of these. <laughs> this is awesome. I just have to say. <laughs> um, look at him. Tell me about this. How did this happen? Yeah, definitely. So for the February issue, they were looking for a dog model to feature uh, on the cover, and then he's got a great story inside as well. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, so Cleveland Dog Magazine contacted us, and um, we were super excited to go and do it. So that was obviously Snowball's first cover, and uh, you can see it there. And we were, I mean, I've blown it up. Uh, <laughs> kind of gone <laughs> a little did. crazy. Yeah. It's in poster. every room of your house. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. We made Making wallpaper out yeah. of it. <laughs> We're wallpapering it's everything. It's the most exclusive dog magazine in all of Cleveland. So <laughs> and, we're and really excited. Only. Really excited to have him. That's yeah. hilarious. That. It's a lot of fun. Um, what is neat, though, is a month. You shared this with me when we talked. A month, was it before or after his... Uh, cover you had your own cover I did um, I had one right before his so I came out in January mm -hmm. and then his came out um, in February so it was yeah. so we have a, we have a picture of that I'm still waiting on mine but <laughs> nobody wants to put me on there the cover it is. or anything <laughs> yeah so, you know what that was actually I so I had I've had two covers that was the one right before the one that was January so <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you um, that's that was one of mine yeah <laughs> I don't know who's cuter. I'm kind of thinking he is. So no. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. I would not argue with you there. Um, I mean, that's a testament. Logan, would you agree with me? When you lose track of the cover, magazine yes, covers, I you're know. on. 
You know, <laughs> I haven't lost track because it's not hard to count to zero. <laughs> but, Me yeah, true. but it's pretty fun. Um, it said <laughs> that Snowball's Cleveland's hottest dog model. I don't think I'll ever uh, be on a magazine that says I'm the hottest model. <laughs> dog model. <laughs> Could be the hottest model, Kelpie. Mm. <laughs> um, okay, so it's um, you shared so much with me when we, we talked. He has snowball <laughs> um, as agents he like does. across the country. He does, which um, is crazy to me. St. Louis, Atlanta, Chicago, um, and then my agents in Ohio also know that he does this as well. So we've mm -hmm. gotten work just through. Uh, you know, producers knowing about him, agents yeah. knowing about him. So, um, as you know from social media, I'm not shy about what we <laughs> talk about about Snowball. So, a lot of people definitely know him, and, and yeah. it's been a great yeah. thing because we've definitely gotten work. Well, from let's that. talk about that because you listed a few things that he does. He's been um, one of my favorites, yeah. Zoo Lily. Yeah, I love Zoo Lily. He's yeah. been in a mm -hmm. spot. Is it commercial or pictures or what was that? Yeah, so he's done a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, he's done the Good Samaritan Society, which is on the West Coast. We, we flew out to Seattle for that. Um, he shot a commercial, that was a commercial. Uh, he shot a commercial for Redwood Living, um, PetSmart, um, Formula One out in Austin, Texas. Um, here locally, he's done um, HSM Mugs. Uh, American Kennel Society, Crazy. Um, a lot of different ones, so it's been really fun. Does he have a bigger resume than you guys? Um, it's definitely... <laughs> it's getting if it's, longer. If it's not yeah. there, it, it will be. It's, it's definitely growing faster than ours, yeah. Yeah. that way, so That's but we're happy for awesome. him. awesome. We have a clip of his, I think it's the Good Samaritan commercial. Okay, yeah. Um, that will play. Um, right, let's, let's look at it right now. Right, let's, let's do it. Look at let's it. do let's it. See. Here is Snowball in action. <laughs> Oh, Mitzi, you know who that is. It's home. You Hi. don't want to leave it. How are you today? Now you may never have to. Good. We can help you with everything from meals to grocery shopping to walking the dog. Take a look. <laughs> I'll do some laundry when I get back. And home services from the Good Samaritan Society. The help you need to stay where you are. <laughs> there you Yay. go. I'm not sure how he feels about being that named Mitzi. That was you. <laughs> he played a, that was job, a girl buddy. dog. They called him a girl dog. Oh, that he one. had to play a girl. He did. Ooh. He did. That's okay. He deserves an Oscar for that yes, one. Yes, he does. Absolutely. <laughs> he really does. Um, it's. I, I know a lot of people are probably wondering, how do you train him? I mean, clearly in that commercial, he had to bark. Yeah. He had to go with the strange lady. He, right. I mean, there's so many things he has to do. How do you get well, him to do that? What we're really lucky about is that he loves other people and animals. So mm -hmm. for him to go and work with somebody else, sit with somebody else, he does that naturally. Like when we're out in public, he'll want to go see other people. Um, there's some, I, not in Dallas, but um, when we flew out to someplace else, um, he actually sat on somebody else's lap the whole way. <laughs> so um, oh. he's, 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 he's a little <laughs> tired right now. Um, but uh, he's super good with people. And then yeah. as far as training goes, um, we clicker train him. And that's kind of what one of his first mm -hmm. agents told me that would be really great because he said once they learn how to, uh, that when they do something right, that they hear that click, they'll be able to pick things up, you know, super quickly. And that's yeah. totally been the case for him. So um, we've been really fortunate. He's yeah. super smart. And... Um, it's it's been great. That's so. awesome. Yeah, well, I have some dogs, and we have to go invest in some clickers. Because <laughs> <laughs> the they would not be just sitting there. Like, I guarantee <laughs> that. Okay, we have a lot more with Jamie Logan and Snowball after this. Twenty years ago, millions of people in over eighty countries discovered a worldwide fitness phenomenon: the Abdoer. Now meet the all-new Abdoer 360. It combines ab toning and muscle shaping with aerobics to dramatically shed pounds and get sensational washboard abs, whether you're a beginner or an athlete. The secret to the Abdoer 360 is the patented core support column that allows you to work every region of your midsection. Best of all, you even get an invigorating back massage. It features over a dozen breakthrough innovations, including the amazing new dynamic fluidity seat. Just like a stability ball engages your core, the fluidity seat makes your muscles automatically fire. You'll burn more calories for a total body transformation faster than ever. I got on that machine the first day and went, this is going to do the job. I lost 22 and a half pounds. You want to feel like it's fun and easy, and that's what's so great about the Abdoer. 
In just eight weeks, I lost 17 and a half pounds and 17 inches using the Abdur. Now that I've lost these 31 pounds, my God, I feel like I'm a different person. This is amazing. University research shows the Abdur 360 activates abs just like a gold standard crunch, but you're off the floor in padded comfort. Target your arms, chest, and back, as well as your legs, thighs, and glutes. Right now, you can try the Abdur 360 fitness system for 30 days before you buy it for only $14.95. And order in the next four minutes, and we'll send you $100 worth of incredible bonus materials. Call or go online now to join the millions that experience the incredible Abdur. You can have an Abdur 360 in your own home for 30 days for just $14.95. If you don't see spectacular results, simply send it back. Your total body transformation starts right now. Welcome back. We're sitting here with a famous, fluffy, cute, adorable dog, uh, and Snowball. Um, okay, so I have to I have to talk about the tie. Yeah, <laughs> which is so adorable. <laughs> which is so adorable. Um, him and I kind of coordinate a little bit. I must say, we have. He's got a lot of these ties in yeah. home, actually. You we guys, called each other this morning. Yeah, you morning, guys morning. Did, did not get the memo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, about what to wear. That's so cute. Um, I know he. you told me that he goes everywhere with you. Even you, Logan. Everywhere. Doesn't he go? You just take him everywhere yep. with you. He goes fewer places mm -hmm. than not. I mean, we, <laughs> we take him. We, we, well, I go to karate class, and so mm -hmm. uh, it's an hour away. So after work, Snowball and I go from typically fusion to uh, the dojo. He comes to the radio station with me. Um, I mean, he's come on my acting gigs. Um, he comes to my races. He goes to the rock climbing gym. Training. He goes to, yeah. we go grocery shopping. We go anywhere yes. and Snowball's with us. And it's really because we're as busy as we are. Yes. If we didn't bring Snowball, then he would be pretty bored mm -hmm. at home, I think, mm -hmm. most of the time. Yeah. Which isn't that interesting because you first thought you couldn't take care of him because you exactly. guys do have such a busy, hectic life that you thought <laughs> we don't have time. Right. But look, look, isn't it funny how it plays out? Very yeah. much. I mean, I, I literally was crying mm -hmm. when I took my, so I drove from my mom's house back to my house when mom and I had a conversation about, well, you know, maybe I should just take Snowball. And um, when I took him back to the house, I literally was in tears thinking, I'll never be able to give this dog the life that he deserves. Aww. And uh, and then it everything just kind of works out the way it's supposed mm -hmm. to. And, and mm -hmm. here we are. He's so. a member of the family. It's a good thing he's not a... Uh, you know, an English Mastiff or something. It'd be harder to carry <laughs> yeah. around in the backpack. Right, exactly. Bring a little, him in the backpack uh, with yeah. us. Yeah, look at him. Just, I think you guys wore him out. <laughs> yeah, he does look he really just sitting tired. there. Um, I want to show some pictures of him um, that I, I stalked your Facebook page a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I do that kind of thing. There he is with Logan, Dad. Radio yeah. interview. Um, yeah. Yes, you're, you're uh, on the radio. Did he pipe up and say anything? I was just curious. <laughs> he was pretty quiet that day. <laughs> he, very, he knows it. when it's work time. Yeah. So very he, well behaved. You said that was a funny. You're like, he knows he can be a playful puppy, but when it's time to work, it's time to work. Honest, oh, honestly, yeah. yes. <laughs> okay, next um, picture, which I had to show this. <laughs> you know why? Because I have two dogs, and if there was a plate of food, they would <laughs> not <laughs> be all over it. They would not be sitting there. Actually, there's a reason I was kept in another room for this shot. Yeah, exactly. Because you'd be eating the food, let's quickly. be honest. Okay. No, he's That's great. awesome. Look at him. Oh, this my. Are we serious right now? That Look was at that. Dog. I mean, he's, uh, the glasses, everything, like, he doesn't care. He's so I'm good. telling you, dogs just don't do that. That's amazing how temperamental he is, or trained, mm -hmm. I guess is a better word, um, just to do that. That's great. Okay. Yeah. A couple more pictures. Oh, <laughs> okay. I chose That's this because favorites. it's my favorite too. You know why? Because it looks like he's just giggling. This was taken <laughs> by a friend of ours, Greg Murray, who's in Lakewood, Ohio, uh -huh. uh, just west of Cleveland, and he specializes in, uh, in pet photography, and he actually took this shot and, and a few others That's for uh, for Jamie's birthday. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. I think we have maybe one more Okay, so yes, I love this. This is the Zulily ad, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, it was one of them. So we do a lot for Zulily, mm -hmm. um, but it's, uh, of course, it's the most fun when we get to do them together. Yes. Um, so yeah, that was super fun, and they, they love him there. 
Snowball gets super <laughs> excited when we move in Poland <laughs> because he just loves going there so much. Okay, and I think we have one last one, which you said you love Christmas, and I yeah, can tell. Yeah, so the, he's, he does a lot of costumes. Mm -hmm. um, so this was just one of the little elf costumes that they that they put him in. And they, <laughs> those two guys, they're my favorites to work with. They love working with Snowball. Oh my gosh, you can tell. That's fantastic. Thanks for sharing those. Yeah. No, thank, I should say thank you for sharing those. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> he just, I can't believe he's just sitting there in his cute tie and all. He's our kid. <laughs> That's it. Um, you said that he auditioned. He had actually audition. I mean, it's not like he just gets walk-on roles. No, nope, um, not he yet. He has to, uh, not yet. He's not <laughs> there. Right, he's no ass um, yet. But he had to audition. Was it a Paramount movie? There's a Paramount movie that he was up for, and it was mm -hmm. down to him and another dog. And um, what kind of um, stunk about that one <laughs> is that I had to go to Germany with Logan for the, the World Boomerang mm -hmm. Championships. And um, it was a very bittersweet thing mm -hmm. um, because Snowball was so close. And they were Aww. actually, it was down to where they were literally giving us tricks every day that they wanted us to then video and send yeah. back. And he was doing great. But when, when I left, um, it was, I mean, pretty much put us out of the running. Yeah. And I was so upset. And I was talking about it when we got to, to the World Cup. And, you know, Logan's so focused on what he had to do. So I'm just kind of, you know, <laughs> by myself upset <laughs> a little bit. But, um, you know, it, it, it works out the way it's supposed Who to. Who regrets going to Something Europe? Something else will you know? come up. Yeah, that's true. But <laughs> sure. you know what, Snowball? Mommy and Daddy killed your dreams. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I blame that one on Logan. <laughs> Logan. I know. I still Aww. feel guilty about it. <laughs> it's cute. Okay. There is more. In fact, Snowball might show us a few little tricks when we come back. We'll see you in a minute. Lightning, one of the most powerful forces in nature, now harness the power of lightning in the palm of your hand. Hi, I'm Hunter Ellis, and that's why I always carry the Tactical Atomic Lighter, the fuel-free, rechargeable lighter that works anywhere, anytime. The secrets are lightning bolt technology that instantly creates fire. From lighting birthday candles to cleaning up the end of a rope, all without gas or butane. Even if it gets wet, it lights. And it never blows out. And it's rechargeable by USB. The Atomic Lighter can be yours for just $19.99. You'll also get a lifetime guarantee. And you can personalize it with custom engraving up to three initials to keep or to give as a one-of-a-kind gift. And if you order now, you can double it and get a second Atomic Lighter, plus our best-selling Atomic Beam. Just pay a separate fee. Order right now, and we'll ship them to you for free. But you have to order now. Call 1-800-507-0341 or visit AtomicLighter.com. So call 1-800-507-0341 now. Soldiers in the Army National Guard live up to a set of time-honored principles. I will always place the mission first. They stand ready to respond to any crisis. I will never accept defeat. They serve in their communities as citizens and as soldiers. I will never quit. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. I will never leave a fallen comrade. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Made in Hollywood Teen Edition, where each week we'll provide career information so you can pursue careers on camera and behind the screen. Hi, I'm Chloe Grace Moretz. I'm Josh Hutcherson. I'm Shailene Woodley. Welcome to Made in Hollywood. Made in Hollywood. You're watching Made in Hollywood. Made in Hollywood Teen Edition is your ticket to a motion picture or television career on camera or behind the screen. Don't miss Made in Hollywood Teen Edition. Made in Hollywood. 1.30 Tuesdays on WMFD. Welcome back. Um, okay, I'm excited because Snowball is going to show us a few tricks. Yeah. All right, hey, Snowball. Let's do it. So we've got some of his favorite treats here. Snowball, you want a cookie? <laughs> Hope that wasn't a no. All right. I, I can respond cookie? to that. To okay. that. You ready? Okay. Are you Snowball? Hello. Good twirl. Okay. High five. And Aww. come on. <laughs> Good boy. One more. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Good job! All right, we're going to grab them. Sure. Good boy. I don't get treats for these tricks. I would do tricks it's for treats. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do back Cookie clips. Cookie Calbee? Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cool. I love the high five. I think that's my favorite. He's pretty good the at the high, high five. He'll shake. He'll do high fives. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> He'll roll over. You know, when you're on okay. on set, and you, oh, you know what? <laughs> I can't take it. Okay. That, I think the most impressive uh, trick is when she tells when she sets something down and tells him to touch it, and he'll have to walk over mm -hmm. and touch it and then come back. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> that is adorable. Um, do you, I didn't know if you guys knew this, but he has his own meme. He has his own meme. Yeah. Did you know that? Really? I did yeah, not know let's that. Let's take no? a look at the meme. The moment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. The gosh. moment you hear you're going to be on sitting down with Kelby King. Is it that right? That is so true. <laughs> that's actually the same face Jamie made. I was just gonna say when that's the face out. I saw Logan making that one. Yeah, oh. yeah. We're good at that one. That's hilarious. Okay, so he has his own Instagram, <laughs> Facebook. He does. I, I mean People follow this um, adorable thing. And um, how, what is the, the Facebook? Like, how, yeah. can, how can people follow him? So, you can follow him on Facebook by mm -hmm. going to facebook.com backslash snowball puppy. And then on Instagram, it's at snowball period shih tzu period actor. He's got them both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is Ran so by cute. Himself. Um, I did like the page. I'm going to oh, be following you. him um, <laughs> because he's got some really cool things. Um, he may be starring you said in a luxury airline. Yeah. Uh, com is summer. it commercial? I got pushed mm -hmm. to the summer. It is. That is so. I mean, really. Yeah, that's that'll really be cool. in Canada, so mm -hmm. that'll be really fun. Mm -hmm. And I know you have. Um, and, and I don't know. Maybe you both do um, some plans for like maybe even a possible children's book. Yeah, so we're actually, Logan and I are both writing um, a Snowball uh, children's series right now. Mm -hmm. So um, that's something that we are hoping to finish within the next year. Yeah. And um, yeah, so lots of plans with Snowball. We like to do things together. So I tell you what, you, you really are a power family. I oh, mean, it, it really is. Thank I you. mean, to such a humbling beginning for him and he's just a little treat. I mean, thank you. It's, it's so cool to see how he has come about and how the the role you guys have had in his um, life. I found something the other day at a store I wanted to show you. Yeah. I want to give it to you. I'll show you and then I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just That's saw so this. A house, oh my gosh, I love it. A house is not a home without a dog. Oh, it's, it's so, so true, true right? Um, so there you go. Thank I just thought so that was that that is so cute. Sweet. I thought that was so cute. That's Aww. adorable. Thank Aww. you. Hey, Snow? thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. I know you guys are so busy, especially with his schedule. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> but thank you again. Well, and thank you. It's been a real joy and a real treat, and I look forward to seeing him uh, as a big star one day. Thank you Definitely. for having us. Thank we had a blast. Um, and thank you for tuning in. And if you know someone in our community who you think is an inspiration to others, please email us to suggest them for our show. We will see you next time right here on Sitting Down with Kelby King.